Hi, my name is Keiichi Yamamoto. I'm a software engineering consultant at Asate Press. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a 3D avatar of yourself using Kinect sensor and the Blender within five minutes. First, you need a Microsoft Kinect for Windows. Next, you need a Windows PC with DirectX 11 compatible graphics card. Let's set up Kinect device. If you have not installed Kinect for Windows SDK, please install it now. Kinect needs to be connected to your PC's USB port. Also, you need to supply power to the Kinect device using the AC adapter. Otherwise, the SDK will fail to initialize the device. Within the Explorer application, click the Reset Reconstruction button at the bottom center. Then, you will start to see your upper body being reconstructed in 3D. Recommended parameters are as follows. Now, click the Create Mesh button at the bottom left. At this point, you can save what you see in the 3D view as a 3D object file. Now we switch to Blender. Delete the default cube object by pressing X key and then D key. Go to File, Import menu, then select OBJ in the submenu. Find the file you saved in the previous step and open it. After you import the OBJ file into Blender, you need to move, rotate, and resize the 3D object so that it can be easily manipulated in Blender. First, let's set the origin to the center of the mass by pressing Shift Alt Control C and select Origin to Center of Mass from the pop up menu. Next, move the object to the center of the scene by pressing Shift S and select Selection to Cursor from the pop-up menu. Now resize the object by pressing S key and then moving the mouse cursor in the direction so it roughly covers the 16 by 16 grid on the ground. Press the 1 key to view the object from the front view. Make further adjustments of position, size, and rotation. Let's add color to the 3D object. To do that, you need a photograph of your upper body. Conveniently, Connect SDK has another app to take your photo. Go back to the Developer Toolkit browser and launch the Color Basic WPF sample app. Just click the screenshot button under the screen and take a note of the saved file name in the status bar at the bottom. Go back to Blender. Click the imported object in the scene outliner in the upper right panel. Change the window layout from default to UV editing from the pull down menu next to the help menu at the top. Click Open button at the bottom of the left side window and find the photo file you just saved. You should see your face picture on the left window now. Move your mouse over to the 3D view area on the right. Press the one key so that the face is looking at you straight. Switch to the edit mode by pressing Tab key and press A key to select all vertices. Press U key and select Project from View from the pop-up menu. You should see the 2D projected meshes of your 3D object on the left photo image. Resize, move, and rotate the 2D meshes so that it roughly matches your photo image. Finally, change the window layout from UV editing to default. Press Tab key to switch back to the object mode. Click on the sphere icon next to the object mode button and select texture from the pull up menu. Do you see a deep black shadow? 
That's because the lighting is not set up perfectly. Let's fix it. Click on the lamp object in the scene outliner. Move the lamp position in front of your face. As you move the lamp, you will see the colored texture. You can do further customization and fine tuning, but the basic steps are the same. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you liked it.